Hey there, my name is Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Parler. Parler is a social media platform that's getting a lot of attention lately. I have made other videos about it, but as of today, February 16th, Parler is back. So we're going to talk about some of the changes that have been made since they were here before. What are some of the changes? And then we'll talk about what's what's the big deal. Um, and I'll share some of that with you as well. Now you might be wondering why am I talking about Parlor? My channel is actually a channel to help people create their YouTube channel and an affiliate marketing business and, and make a little bit of money online by sharing their passion. It's really important as a YouTuber for you to have knowledge of all the social media platforms that are out there so that you can promote your videos. So that's why I have done tutorials on Parlor and other social media platforms as well. So I wanted to keep you up in the know about Parlor and that's what this video is about. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to get to Parlor, you want to go to www.parlor.com and this is the old logo. I'm going to share the new logo with you in just a moment. But if you've, or if you're familiar with Parlor and you already have an account, this is what you have seen in the past. Now before I do a drum roll and share the new logo with you, I want to explain what Parlor is. Parlor is a social media platform that promises to allow people to share their expressions and free speech. Now, a lot of people will say, yeah, but I've been on there and Parler shut me off because maybe I said something that I shouldn't have. So that's not being free speech. Well, let's, let's find out what the definition of free speech is before we start complaining whether or not our posts have been denied or approved. Free speech is actually and this is where I looked it up. Free, freedom of speech is what free speech is, right? It's our, it's our First Amendment right here in the United States. It's a principle that supports the freedom of an individual or a community, now listen here, to articulate their opinions and ideas without fear of retaliation, censorship, or legal sanction. And I want to stress opinions and ideas. When you have an opinion or an idea, you don't want to attack people with your opinion or idea. It's not about telling other people they're wrong. It's not about being hateful to other people, but it's just saying, hey, I might not agree with you. I might have a different opinion about that or a different, a different idea. And that's really what freedom of speech is. So I don't care what platform you are on. It's not about being hateful and derogatory to other people just because they don't agree. So I don't think you're from what I know, you're ever going to find a platform that promotes hatefulness and attacking people and things like that. So to be clear, make sure we understand what free speech is. Okay. So as long as you follow the guidelines that Parler has set up, and I'm sure it is within alignment of what I have right here, then you shouldn't have any problem with your post. but feel free to disagree, have a different opinion, just say it with grace and love, right? Instead of with hatefulness and vengeance and attacking people. Now let's have a drum roll and let's look at the new logo for Parlor. Ta-da, there it is. So once you go to log in, your screen is going to look like this, okay? And it says you can join Parlor today, or if you already have an account, just log in right here. Now, when you go to log in, they're gonna ask you for your old email address that you logged in with before and your password. If you do not remember your old password, you can go down here and do an account recovery, and then they'll send you, just like any other platform, Parler will send you a link so that you can change your password that matches your email address. Now, something that's a little different that wasn't there before, they want to verify that you're human, so you're going to be asked to put in a little code, a CAPTCHA code, and they want to just prove that you're human and not a bot. And this is pretty, pretty common on many platforms anyway. All right, and then you'll see this, and it'll kind of run. And then once they find out that you're human, they approve your your email address and your password, you are in. Now, once you get in, if you've been here before, you'll see that the setup is very similar to what it was before. You're going to have suggestions off to the right of people that you can follow. And yes, it is full of a lot of conservative 
influencers, but if you're not an, a conservative influencer and you want to be on parlor, like I said, just follow the guidelines and you are entitled to your opposing opinion and ideas and views. It's just in how we go about it. But your feed is over here and then you can have your notifications. Um, I have a video that I'm going to put up here in the top where it shows you how to set up your Polar account if you have not set it up and how to set up your profile. I'm not gonna do all of that again here. You can just go ahead and watch the video that I've already made. Now, something that is different in Parlor. They do have badges, the verification badges, and I did make a video on that. I'm gonna share it with you so that you can see what they are, but they are different. There are some different ones and they're designed differently. So let's go ahead and look at those. I went ahead and made a, a slide here for you. I enlarged it so you can get a better view, but most of us, just like me, I'm not an influencer and I'm not a, a, you know, anybody special. I went in and got my account verified and I have the red badge. Now, the red badge is a verified real user verification badge. It does not mean I am using my own name because I could go in and verify my account as a real user because I'm using a driver's license, but I could use somebody else's driver's license and verify the account and use my name. So it's not proving that I am who I say I am. It's just proving that, I don't know why people would do that, but I'm just proving that I'm a real person. And that's what that badge does, okay? So I just wanna make that clear. Now there is one down here where it says real user restricted comment badge and then real name. So there are some extra steps that you would go through to verify that. I just want it for the sake of time here, I don't wanna keep you here long, but I just wanna show you the different badges and how they look different. This is a verified influencer. You're gonna to have to have a certain size of a following to be able to get that. This is a parlor partner. Then we have an, a parlor affiliate. This is a private account, real user restricted comment badge, and then a parody account, a parlor employee looks like this. And like I said, this one shows you have real name. And then this is a early parlay. Now, we'll now on Parler, we don't make comments, we parlay. And what does that mean exactly? It's actually a French term, and I have a definition here for you. A parlay refers to a discussion or conference, especially one designed to end an argument or hostilities between two groups of people. The term can be used in both past and present tense. In present tense, the term is referred to as parlaying. So you post a parlay. And again, you can disagree, you can have your own opinion, but we want to do it in a in a, a civil manner, right? We, it's designed to end arguments and maybe you're going to walk away and agree to disagree, but that's okay. So that's what I have for you today about Parlor. I hope that you're able to get signed up or at least you understand what it is. If you have any questions, put them below. And in the description, there are other videos that I made about Parlor that might help you um, understand it a little bit better, um, how to get your um, account set up. Like I said, I set my account up like I, uh, on the desktop. So mine is the desktop version, but very easy to set up on your phone as well. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped clear up a few things for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think down in the comments below. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.